Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel Dr. Srinivas Medical Concepts and my every page Dr. Srinivas Concepts. This is Dr. Srinivas, Neurophysician from Rajmandri, Andhra Pradesh, India. I am also the medical author of the book Focused Neurology and Exam Oriented Clinical Neurology. My email is sriklpm at gmail.com. Today we are going to talk about a very very interesting topic, the muscle tone. Concepts of motor system part 4, the muscle tone. So what is tone? Tone is the resistance of a muscle to passive stretch. When we actively move the limb, it becomes power. Tone is the resistance of a muscle to a passive stretch. So increased tone is called hypertonia and is of two types, spasticity rigidity decreased tone is called hypotonia or flaccidity so tone is the resistance of a muscle to passive stretch hypertonia there are two types spasticity rigidity and there is hypotonia so now first let's talk about the increased tone spasticity spasticity is the increase in tone associated with diseases of upper motor neurons the corticospinal tract it is velocity dependent, has a sudden release after reaching a maximum, otherwise known as clasp knife phenomenon and predominantly affects the anti-gravity muscles that is upper limb flexors and lower limb extensors. So it is velocity dependent. What is velocity dependent? Initially it will become very difficult to overcome, Once, but once you overcome it becomes very easy. So very well compared with the clasp knife clasp knife initially is difficult to open up but then after some time it becomes very easy to open it up so it's a velocity dependent very very important point that means it has a sudden release after reaching a maximum known as clasp knife phenomenon another important concept of spasticity is that it predominantly affects the anti-gravity muscles so what are the anti-gravity muscles upper limb flexors and the lower limb flex extensors so it affects the upper limb flexors and the lower limb extensors. So spasticity one, it is a velocity dependent and second, it predominantly affects the anti-gravity muscles, namely upper limb flexors and the lower limb extensors. Now let's talk about rigidity. Rigidity is hypertonia that is present throughout the range of motion, well compared with the lead pipe rigidity and affects flexors and extensors equally. So this is velocity independent. So rigidity is hypertonia that is present throughout the range of motion. So it is the rigidity is present throughout the range of motion. Well compared with the lead pipe. Unless unlike the clasp knife spasticity which is velocity dependent, initially difficult and then it becomes easier to overcome. The rigidity is hypertonia that is present throughout the range of motion well compared with the lead pipe rigidity and second important point is that spasticity affects anti-gravity muscles that is flexors of the upper limb and extensors of the lower limb but whereas the rigidity affects ex flexors and extensors equally it affects both groups of muscles equally it sometimes has a cogwheel that is enhanced by voluntary movement of the contralateral limb reinforcement it occurs with certain extra permanent disorders such as parkinson's disease so there will be a cogwheel rigidity, there will be interposed tremors which we call as cogwheel rigidity uh, seen in extra permanent diseases like Parkinson's disease. Then there is another type of uh, tone which is known as paratonia or Gegenhalten. It is usually seen in frontal lobe lesions. So it is increased tone that varies irregularly in a manner seemingly related to the degree of relaxation and is present throughout the range of motion and affects flexors and extensors equally. It usually results from the diseases of the frontal lobe. Now we will talk about decreased tone flaccidity. Weakness with decreased tone or flaccidity or normal tone occurs with disorders of motor units. So the decreased tone or flaccidity occurs in disorders of lower motor neurons that is disorders of motor unit. But what exactly is a motor unit? A motor unit consists of a single lower motor neuron and all the muscle fibers that it innervates. 
motor unit consists of a single lower motor neuron and all the muscle fibers that it innervates. Muscle bulk generally is not affected by upper motor neuron lesions, although mild disuse atrophy may occur. By contrast, atrophy is often present when a lower motor neuron lesion is responsible for weakness and may also occur with advanced muscle disease. So these are the interesting concepts of both tone. The other interesting concepts of neurology, I have put it in a question and answer format in a book called Focus Neurology written by me, Dr. S. Srinivas. This book is available online from all leading booksellers including Amazon. If interested, this book could be bought online. The other book I have written is Exam Oriented Clinical Neurology which is useful, very much useful for clinical exams in neurology and contains history taking, neurology examination, hemiplegia and paraplegia. If interested, this book could be bought. Yeah, so I hope you have enjoyed listening to my lecture. Uh, if you have really enjoyed listening to my lecture, please like share the link but please subscribe my youtube channel dr srinivas medical concepts and my page dr srinivas